Alrighty traders, George here in time for a Q1 wrap up on our balance beam trade signals. For you subscribers out there, we've had a pretty nice first go here of the first three months of 2017. For starters, let's get caught up on our spreadsheet here. And remember, this is for a single contract approach to these futures markets. So the trade signals are going to be for the primary markets would be gold, oil, and the NASDAQ. And not necessarily every week will we have all three set up. Uh, for example, here we had gold and oil. Here we had gold and the NASDAQ. So as it goes through March, uh, these are the trade signals that went out and what happened. We had relatively small gains here throughout most of these weeks, but incredibly, we have no losing weeks. We had a $10 gain here for the first week. We had 610 bucks the second week here uh, on these trades for the, for the NASDAQ and gold. The week after that, we did 450 on a few more trades. And the week after that, we did 1,320 on some trades for oil and gold, both of those putting up gains on both sides. And then we just came off of some action here in oil. Single contract actually did pretty well here with 810 bucks. But check it out. The last video that you saw me do was at the end of February, and that was at $9,300 equity curve on the year. Well, now we're at $12,505, and that's a very good percentage equity growth over the last month considering what the markets at large have done and that's what the equity curve looks like so it just took a little bit of a blip there but the incline of this profitability is excellent and on top of that there are no losing weeks since the start of the year we haven't really had any blowout profitable uh, weeks but we haven't had any losing weeks and we've got 12,505 in the bank now through the first three months. That's only on 71 trades as well. So averaging about 24 trades a month there. And there you have why the balance beam is so powerful. Not a lot of trades, very tight risk control, and the visibility to come up with some very good targets that are very reactionary with the traders and also very precise. So with all you new signups, this is the uh, button that you want to hit when you log on to the site, the subscriber button. Go to Week Ahead Trade Calls. If I send you an alert through the email saying there's a new video, this is where it is. And they'll just be chronologically listed here. And I'll put a little note to whatever is, is covered there. In addition to that, below that, you'll find the live training. So Tuesday and Thursday when we get together, I record that, I edit that make it more efficient for your playback and then all this good stuff is here and during these training sessions we often find some amazing trade setups for example since I've got you on the hook here let me see if I can pull this together really quickly about 10 days ago in training we covered one of my favorite signals on the balance beam which is the pass through and what that is is when you have a market that's in a bullish state that's starting to break down and it breaks below a key area of trading commitment very intense trading commitment and that happens to be the weakest spot for that particular market but the market recovers that area and then it trades higher much higher often not only retesting where it came from but going to new highs this is called the pass through and in training on Tuesday I highlighted this as something that was on the horizon and to be ready for it. So this is an area that catches traders off guard all the time, but in the room, you're aware of that because I'm pointing it out to you and you're starting to build with visual evidence where we take a theory and move it to fact and then you have belief behind it and you're able to trade around it. Well, this is the graphic that I drew for that video on the 21st and here's what happened just a little bit later was uh, this. That's the screenshot that I pulled into the next session, basically a week later on the 28th. And you can see, I mean, this is the exact same chart, the arrow, the arrow, the red ellipse here. And price came into this area where I had highlighted it, and then it broke back through the floor and filled to the ceiling there, which is a really good amount of points to scoop up and to correlate what you're doing with stocks to the long side at the same time. And it actually pulled back down and did the same thing again with another pop. And of course, now we're all the way back up to some new highs for the NASDAQ. So that's just an example of things that we'll go over in the live room that you can take advantage of and shows why that's such a cool thing. So some great moves up there in the NASDAQ. For those of you that are trading higher level than just a single contract 
uh, strategies here for the subscriber series obviously you're picking up some pretty huge gains because this just accounts for a single contract to the target ones for the most part there's a couple re-entries here but for the most part it's just target one stuff and it's doing that well so imagine keeping those risks small for a second or a third position and then going up to hit a second and a third target if you want to be a part of these trade signals use the link around this video you can find out more information about that all right, gang, that's it for now. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back in training on Tuesday.